Morning guys, it's early but it looks beautiful outside. It looks super Christmassy and the the sky is like a really nice pink colour. You can't quite see it on this camera but it's so nice. And I've already taken the pugs out and it's so, so cold. But um, at the minute, my nose feels like it's twice the size. I don't know if I'm catching a cold. I really hope I'm not because I've got a busy month this month. And um, yeah, I don't want to get a cold. But as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, today we're heading off to the, I was going to say dentist. We're going off to the vets to take Ellie for a checkup on our legs. So time for a frosty, probably busy morning drive. So after the most brutal two hour journey in rush hour, which was only supposed to take about 50 minutes, uh, Ellie is back at the vets. We are back at home and I've started making videos because basically they don't know what's wrong. It could be one of two things. It could be an infection, which they don't think it is, but it could be, or she's just pulled a muscle, which would be the best case scenario. Obviously best case, nothing would have happened, but she's done something. <laughs> so we've had to leave her at the vets again for some x-rays just so they can literally see what's going on in there. If they can't see anything wrong, then she's pulled a muscle and she can come home today. If not, then we'll find out soon, I'm sure. So we literally drove home from the vets after spending about 30 minutes there and um, got a Starbucks on the way home, which was awesome. Then I filmed a Tomodachi Live video. I edited it. I've just finished rendering it. And while that was rendering, I edited the vlog that you guys would have seen yesterday, but was uploaded today for me. <laughs> and now I need to make a second video for the day and tomorrow as I've mentioned to you guys before I'm getting some more done on my tattoo I'm getting a new tattoo which is gonna start at 10 a.m. and I don't know when it's gonna finish because they can take well each session on this arm has been about five hours which is a whole day for me so I need to get videos done for tomorrow then Wednesday I've got some like mini filming thing to do then out for dinner and then Thursday and Friday I need to get ready for insomnia which is on Saturday and Sunday so busy help me Help, so many videos, so, so many videos. But I think I'll be fine. I think, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> but then hopefully after this week is over, I have some time to, between then and Christmas, to literally just hang out with my family, my pugs, and just chill out. Obviously make videos at the same time, but not have all this extra stuff to prepare for because I literally have like zero time right now, which is crazy. But I do kind of enjoy it at the same time, so I can't really complain. But today, I'm afraid it's gonna be another kind of boring day, but that is because we're just literally sitting around waiting for a call from the vets to find out whether we're gonna be able to pick Ellie up today or not. Obviously, you guys will find out at the same time we do. And um, I guess I should just make as many videos as possible. So I thought today would be a good day to maybe introduce you to our new little pug called Peggy. So I'm gonna get to do some more videos. I'll let you know how Ellie gets on the vets when we know, and then I'll introduce you to our new dog. How does that sound? Good? Good. Let's make some videos. Also, this is craziness. This right here is Sunday for my second channel, the one you're watching videos on right now. 15,604 subscribers in a day. That's crazy. But thank you guys. I'm glad you're enjoying the vlog so much. I'm having tons of fun filming them, right? Speaking of filming, it's gaming time. Guys, I haven't finished recording yet, but I've just seen, look, another incredible sunset. Look at that. That looks like something from The Lion King. That is so, so cool. I love that. Honestly, one of my favorite things about winter is seeing amazing scenes like all the frost this morning, the sun in the morning, and the sun in the evening as well. On clear nights, is just so beautiful. Okay, so just had the phone call for Ellie, and she had some x-rays, and apparently she has chipped off a tiny little bit of bone, and that is what's causing her to limp, because it's painful. I mean, she, she, she fractured her bone, and it's just like this tiny little bit of bone that's kind of floating around and causing her pain near the implants, which she had put in her kneecap, so... Yeah, sounds pretty painful. But the good thing is we can go and collect her, but that means we need to go literally now. So I am currently just making a thumbnail for um, today's vlog, which you would have seen yesterday. So hopefully it would have gone up in time. But um, I don't know about the main channel. The main channel's got one video up, but I'm not sure about the second one. I might just have to leave it for today, which is fine. The pugs have to come first. So yeah, 
Ellie's coming home. I guess I should say what we're supposed to do about it. We're supposed to just give her rest for four weeks. It'll just heal by itself. So, um, yeah. Not exactly what we were expecting. A little bit annoying for Ellie, I guess. She's got to be in a little bit of pain. But um, I'm sure we'll have that managed. And um, good result. We just need to go and get her now. <laughs> so we haven't left yet. But we're literally rushing around the house trying to get things done. Because we need to leave, like, right now. Because traffic is going to be insane. So I'm getting these guys to go to the toilet. And then um, I wanted to show you this sky again. It just look at that. It looks so incredible. Again, winter is one of my favorite months, and that is one of the reasons why. Where's Peggy? There she is. Will you go toilet, please? <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> she looks so small. But, and she's barking. Jeez, why are you so angry? But anyway, we need to get going, like right now, and go and get Ellie. Guys, Ellie's home. Ellie, how are you doing? Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> how are you doing, Puggy? Oh, she's doing good. So from all the painkillers and stuff, she's actually like really spaced out. She has no idea what's going on. She's just been sleeping since she got in. But check this out. This right here is the x-ray of Ellie's leg that they took. And the bit of bone that is broken is literally there. So if you see this, um, the really, really kind of like light white bit is the metal that she had put in. And the broken bit, it's really hard to point at. Let me use my DS stylus because my finger's too fat. But the bit, the tiny bit of bone is right here above this really bright white bit that's poking out here. Just there where my DS is touching, that's a tiny bit of bone that she's broken off. So the plan is to keep her rested uh, even more so for four weeks. And you'll notice she doesn't have the cone on because she got her stitches out as well. I can actually love to look at that. Actually looks really, really good. But yeah, stitches are out, drugs are working, and she is going to be knocked out until the morning, pretty much. So, um, Ellie's doing okay. Just means she needs to stay more still, which isn't that much of a problem. She hated the cone more than exercise, so she's doing okay which is good. And I did say to you guys that today will be the day I introduce you to our brand new pug, so I'm gonna do that now. So this right here, guys, is Peggy the pug. Now, um, as you guys know, we have fostered a fair few pugs, and Peggy was a foster, but she was actually found as a stray dog. So she was found just wandering around a park, then she went into a kennel for seven days, because that's just the law before you're able to rehome any dogs, just in case the original owners come along and get her. And then we went to get her to foster her, and almost a year later, she's still here. Yes. Say hello, pigs. Say hello. <laughs> so I have mentioned before that she is quite a poorly dog because she has a condition called syringomyelia, which sounds pretty crazy, and it kind of is. It means her skull is too small for her brain, so her fluids are, that's supposed to be in her skull kind of pushes out onto her spine, which is why she walks weird. And also, she has this foot right here, which is extremely bent. So if you see her from the top, you can see that this leg right here is bent off to the sides. Let me show you her walking. Come here. So did you see that? She walks kind of like really wibbly wobbly on her back legs. So her syringomyelia um, affects her back legs because all the fluid is pushing on nerves in her spine, which she has had an operation for to take the fluid off her spine. It can't be cured, but it can be managed. She has medication and has to take pills three times a day. So we manage that, which is completely fine because she is so cute and she fits in with our two girls really really nicely unfortunately because she was a stray we don't know how old she is but um the vets guess that she's about five or six which is quite cool and yeah i guess there's not too much else to tell you about her apart from she is um she is our third pug she will be staying with us forever <laughs> what do you think about that huh do you want to stay with us or are you going to go get food from somewhere she doesn't really know. But also, she's been to the vets because, I don't know if you've noticed, but she's got a shaved bit on her properly working leg. Yeah, she has a shaved bit on her leg because she's had x-rays as well to try and fix her bent paw. So she's had her original operation, and then she's also uh, planning to have an operation to fix her bent paw. But that's more complicated than they thought it was going to be, so that won't happen until the new year. But um, I'm sure I'll update you guys on that at some point. So yeah, that's Peggy. Say hello. Say hello, pegs. 
She's so tired right now. <laughs> so today has been a very pug-filled day indeed, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you've enjoyed uh, meeting Peggy as well. Um, don't worry about her illness, she's completely fine. This is something she'll have to live with for life, but we can manage it, so do not worry. And Ellie's going to be fine as well. She's just got a little bit of a different recovery than we expected, but she's going to be fine. So um, guys, that's pretty much going to end up this vlog. If you enjoyed it, leave a big fat thumbs up. That'd be awesome, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!